been learning how to use area model and partial product when we're multiplying by one digit numbers. This week, we're gonna be using those exact same strategies. We're just gonna be multiplying by a two digit number. So today, we're gonna to be learning how to use area model when multiplying a two digit number by another two digit number. So the first thing I need to do is set up my box. So I'm gonna make sure I have plenty of room for my two digit number this way and my two digit number this way. Now, the next thing I need to do is do expanded form and figure out my place values. So for my first number, I have 56. So in expanded form, that's going to be 50 plus six. Now I know I don't need as much room for my ones place. And then I have my tens place. Now, I need to find my expanded form for 43, which will be 40 plus three. And I can make this side a little bit smaller too. Now, this is gonna be our smallest number because it's the ones place by a ones place. And then this one's gonna be larger because it's a tens place by a tens place. And then I need to put my multiplication in the corner to remind me to multiply the numbers together. So my first step is gonna be 50 times 40. Now I notice that there's a zero here and a zero here. So I can put two zeros in the box right away. The next thing I need to do is five times four, which is 20. Now, I know I have four place values here. So one, two, three, I need to put a comma because this is the start of a new period. Now I'm gonna move over to this place value and I see I have one zero here and I don't have any there. So I'm just putting one zero in there. Now my next step is to do six times four and that's 24. Then I'm gonna move over to this row. I have 50 times three. I don't have a zero here, but I have one right there. So I'm just gonna put one zero in there. And I'm gonna do five times three, and that's 150. And then I need to move to my one place. No zero there, no zero there. So I do six times three, and that's 18. Now, with expanded form, we have a plus sign here. So we need to do 2,000 plus 240 and 150 plus 18. And with a two digit number, we now have to add both of these rows together as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add this row. I'm gonna do 2000 plus 240, and I'm gonna line that up by place value. So I have zero plus zero, which is zero. Zero plus four is four. Zero plus two, is two, I see a comma, so I'm gonna drop my comma down, and then I have a two. So I have the number for this first row. Now I need to find the number for this next row, which is 150 plus 18. Zero plus eight is eight. One plus five is six, and drop the one down. Now I need to add both of those two rows together. So then I'm going to do 2,240 plus 168. Zero plus eight is eight. Four plus six is 10, so I'm gonna drop the zero and carry the one. One plus two is three, plus another one is four. I see a comma, so I can't forget that, and then I can drop the two down. So my answer, is 2,408. You are going to go practice with your teacher now. Have fun.